विथ मी टूडे इज स्वामी स्थिति कंठानंद जी महाराज महाराज इज इन चार्ज ऑफ राम किशन मठ विवेकानंद लैंग्वेज स्कूल्स एंड विवेकानंद हेल्थ सेंटर इन विवेकानंद लैंग्वेज स्कूल इज अ फाइव थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट ऑनलाइन एंड ऑफलाइन नाउ रिसेंटली विवेकानंद हेल्थ सेंटर हैज टुक अप अ कॉज ऑफ आर ए जेनि प्रोग्राम वेयर दे आर गिविंग वर्कशॉप और द ट्रेनिंग टू द एक्सपेक्टिंग वुमेन और द प्रेगनेंट वुमेन एंड देयर फैमिली मेम्बर सो दैट दे कैन डिलीवर अ हेल्दी बेबी सो मारा जी वी आर सेंग बिकॉज ऑफ द स्ट्रेस इन द लाइफ ऑफ ए वुमेन दे क्रिएट आई मीन द बेबी इज नॉट एज हेल्दी एज इट इज सपोज टू बी बोथ मेंटली एंड फिजिकली सो मारा वॉट मे बी द कॉज ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इन द लाइफ ऑफ अ प्रेगनेंट वुमेन Yeah, there are multiple reasons, a n number of reasons for that. So, the traditionally this institution of marriage in India is very strong. Today, youth are entering into marriage without knowing the idea of marriage, the purpose of marriage, the object of marriage. So, as Swami says, Swami Vivekananda, this is marriage basically is self-sacrifice. So, if you don't understand that, and if you enter into wedlock with expectations. and you have a role model in your mind and uh, once you marry and uh, they superimpose that role model on the person that has entered into your life and this person actually is not matching your role model and uh, you just stop with your role model as this person and then there will be huge disappointment you know there is a statement in english marriages are made in heaven it means that you need to have absolute resignation absolute surrender in the sense that you get a person into your life actually who is not that you can select because of the prarabdha that person has entered into your life and because of the prarabdha of that person you have entered into the life of that person so when you have that resignation you know this person actually has come into my life because of my prarabdha because of my destiny it is the right person only has come right time only will come but if you don't uh, have that kind of surrender what happens you question actually maybe i have chosen badly You know, this person actually is not up to my expectations. That is absolutely wrong. That is because of temptation. That is because of Maya. Because that the people are thinking that I could have chosen better. I could have chosen better. And once that temptation comes into your life, and you seek, you know, you go for novelty, and you go for somebody else, somebody else. You know, rest it is happening. You know. I mean, you mean to say that ki spirituality help in developing the acceptability for the person who has entered in your life. It helps a woman and a man to accept the reality in her current circumstances. which she can change with the path of a spirituality only i am a correct in understanding maharaj yes 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 you see for example in the west there is no institution of marriage hmm. so we know what is happening how family life is how stable is society you know they could create because of this uh, weak uh, marriage you know as an institution the indian society is comparatively very stable for all these days uh, all these years because of this institution of marriage which is a wonderful institution and uh, now because this diverse rate they say is going up uh, it's on a tip see uh, why this is because too much of the exposure and too much of the expectations so it is surrender is very important it's not that something actually you can choose people on your own again and again that should not happen in this society at least because mother and father stay together and because there is a bonding there is an understanding between them a great child a great life can happen in a family otherwise the number of ill assorted couples actually is growing up and that is actually impacting the children also because then there is a friction in if you go for uh, you know uh, bringing a child into the world definitely the child will be you know a psychologically affected child because it's not a peaceful relationship they are not understood each other well actually the compatibility is not there that uh, the assortment has not happened and during that process if the child comes to bring the child into the world a child cannot be a healthy child psychologically Marit, emotionally also i i have one question like in indian yes. mythology or like indian shastra whatever it may be parvati chosen the lord shiva on her own sita also did through swayamvar came to ram like draupadi everyone chosen their life partner so there is a independency given to the women i think just before this you were saying ki although sita was being asked to leave uh, the whole uh, you know ayodhya and she was been uh, what i will say she was placed in ashrama but she never uh, you know uh, give a bringing of uh, love kusha negative can you throw a light onto that to maharaj ki how positive upbringing she gave to the love and kusha which you know build up the personality of love and kush yeah actually she was under a lot of psychological stress but she did not blame rama and she blamed her own fate 
which people do not know. Because she knew that Rama was helpless, because Rama was following his dharma as a king. Okay, she didn't blame Rama. Most people misunderstand this. Rama had done a cruel act. She dreamt it definitely. She bemoaned her own fate. She knew that Rama also was helpless. And finally, when she landed up here in the Almighty Maharshi's ashrama, because of this ashrama environment, with all other spiritual practitioners there, all the ascetics had supported her, made her actually lead a peaceful and quiet life, you know, where she has resigned to her fate. And of course, Maharshi also helped her. Because of that peaceful environment of the ashrama and because of all the support that she had got from the ashramites, she would uh, you know, give birth to Rava and Kusha, who were just on par with Rama. So it doesn't matter even if the mother has some reason for, to undergo some stress or some anxiety. If she prays to the Divine and if she invokes the blessings of the Lord upon the baby growing in the womb, definitely she would be able to become a great mother. She would uh, you know, give birth to an exceptional life, just as in the case of Sheetha it had happened. But after all, actually she was following her dharma as her dharma charity. So we know actually in India, wife means helping the husband, you know, following his dharma. And Rama was following his dharma, you know, to the best of his knowledge. And Sheetha knew that actually, she was an embodiment of dharma. And then actually she had helped her husband, because for all the reasons she could give birth to Rava and Kusha, who were just like Rama. Amaris, through your, uh, you know, explanation, I understood two things. A. Sita gave the positive upbringing to his children. B. Through spirituality, she is able to overcome her negativity and the instrument was prayer. So, can you highlight a little about the prayer, Maharaj? Yes, it's very important. You know, sometimes we may say that be free from stress, be free from anxiety and worry, but circumstances may not be, you know, congenial or propitious for that, for, you know, keep your mind calm and stable at that particular point of time. If you feel really helpless, it's very important that you pray to God. Oh Lord, actually I am helpless, this stress is happening in my mind. Uh, uh, please protect my baby from all the stress and anxiety that I undergo. And if you just say that prayer to the Lord, actually, definitely the Lord will shower His blessings upon the baby and uh, He will help actually for protect and insulate the baby from all the you know toxicity that you are able to generate, you are generating in your mind. It could be emotional stress or psychological stress. So it's very important that mothers become spiritual. Only mothers who are spiritually empowered and culturally empowered, they will be able to bring great progeny into the world and then they will become greatest assets of mankind, humanity, both in terms of, you know, you can contribute to your own family and to the society. After all, society and nation means what to put individuals. The greatness of the society or the nation depends upon how great individuals they are and their greatness in fact depends upon what kind of, uh, I mean, a spiritual culture the mother has. So tomorrow belongs to metaphysical women for sure, tomorrow belongs to spiritual women. Whoever actually is spiritual, they will be able to deliver that. And so, goes to an exceptional child and that child will become an asset to the mankind. So Maharaj, you are saying spiritual women is an empowered woman. Truly. Which I understand. Definitely. And you are highlighting the power of the prayer and the positive upbringing. Yes. And instrument is prayer and the spirituality. Yes. Thank you Maharaj for sharing all this PowerPoint to us. Thank you. So Thank you. This is Madhvi Shri from Ramkishan Mart, Hyderabad.